What up guys, Mad Viking here. It's Wednesday night. I just got back from uh, ACW, the mall shows I go to all the time. Great show. Uh, but before I left for the day, I saw this on my front porch. Wondering what it was because I hadn't ordered anything in a while. <coughs> but when I picked it up, I saw this, so I instantly knew who it was. It was from <coughs> Justin. A.K.A. Flambaka on Instagram. Go follow him. Uh, he told me a while ago he was sending me a care package. He did already kind of let me know what uh, one of the things was that he was sending. Okay, I haven't seen anything yet. But I think there's a couple figures in there. So I'm aware of at least one thing here. And he's never sent a bad package. Uh... So it did brighten my day a little bit, knowing I had something. I was I keep trying to do other things for the channel, but I, I'm always missing something, so it never happens. So this worked out well. Uh, oh, look at that. All right. Well, I know what this is, because I can see it. But this is cool. This is a uh, Retro Fest. Ric Flair. Which he told me about. They had these for $5 online. Or, well, no, it was an in-store thing, too. But I think it did eventually turn out to be a mistake. But he got me retro fast. Why is the lighting so bad? Uh, Ric Flair. I have one, so I'll probably open and review this. Yeah, why not? I'll, re I'll review it. This is a much younger days Ric Flair. God damn. The lighting is horrible. And I don't have my little tripod. So, yeah, I would show you the fit. Well, there you go. That's a little bit better. Younger days, Rick. I would say that's just definitely supposed to be the 80s. Uh, wow. But well, we got Retro Fest, Kurt Angle. Not Retro Fest, <laughs> Retros. He looks more like a, an American Gladiator from back in the day. I guess there's some sort of game for it, but I'm not getting involved with that. There's some more from the line. Like I said, I don't know what to think of Retros. I'm definitely, I didn't have them as a kid. <laughs> they never sparked my interest, but uh, hey, you can't complain. Which one is this? Oh, good. Uh, I will definitely be opening this one. Uh, I do have the newer one, but this is the one I wanted big time, but from like whatever it was a year ago. I even requested Ringside to make it, but I wanted the pants involved too. Of course, that's Team Angle, Kurt Angle. Great era for him. You see, there's a close up, of course. There's Kurt. There's the front and back. Oh, yeah, this is really old. Because it's got Jason Jordan on there, Chad Gable, Ryder in his sting look. Those Gable and uh, Jordan figures go for like eight bucks on eBay. So he sent me Kurt, two Kurts. This one's kind of hidden, wrapped in stuff, so I'm assuming it's something. Oh, yeah, shit, I forgot. Awesome, dude. Where's my tape? Yeah, he told me this. Yeah, I didn't forget. I just forgot. <laughs> if that makes any sense. He told me he was sending me this. And I have horrible luck finding these things. It's a Walmart exclusive. And I've only ever found one in store. And I know I got lucky. But it's the new... Pat Patterson, they are making a Gerald Briscoe one too. This is from uh, Attitude Era because I never could really remember where this was from because this is obviously like during the Austin feud with Vince. For whatever reason, it's a very sought after figure. I'm glad I have one, but uh, if I didn't get one, it wasn't going to bother me any. But he told me one day he went out and found eight. In three stores, he found eight. I haven't found any. I mean, I just got lucky with the SummerSlam series figures. So, this one will stay bent in card and get packed away. First time in the line. Yeah, that's. I don't even think there was uh, Jack's figures for him. So, that was it. That's what he sent out, guys. Let me see if there's a note or something. Sometimes he does that. 
Nope, no note. But very cool either way. Like I said, uh, I will... I don't know, I already got one of these. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I'm going to open this. Um, this will probably go for Toys for Tots, then. That's what I'm going to do, because I did ha I have one box, I believe, or somewhere, and I did open one recently for that massive figure unboxing I did. So I'm still grateful either way. This is going to go to Toys for Tots. Uh, and that's going to get packed away. Yeah, quick review. <laughs> so... I gotta thank you. That was great. Great package. This I'm definitely gonna open. I'm gonna be greedy and open this one. Because, so like I said, recently I just had that one flare figure. He must be over there boxed up. And I don't think I've had any open dared. So, that is it for now. Uh, thank you, Justin. You brightened my day. Um, Trying to think, trying to think. Oh, Saturday is Punk Pro Wrestling. I just got tickets for that. Um, John Davis is supposed to be there. I don't know if you guys know who that is. I only saw him, saw him once last year, uh, and he brutalized the guy he fought. He has some of the sickest chops in the bit. Uh, if not, well, maybe put him in the ring with Big Show and have them do a chop off. Because I have the video on my channel. I don't know if it was Punk Pro Wrestling or what. But he, him and the guy they, that were battling each other were just murdering each other with chops. But anyways, that's Saturday's show. Tomorrow is Thursday. Uh, I, I will be busy. If I make anything else for video-wise before Saturday, I don't know. We'll see. So, Justin, thank you once again. I appreciate it, brother. Um, that is it for now. Hit like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Um, and I will catch you guys next time.